We've just installed the RSH50 VRM kit. The purpose of this device is to protect the AC system from a number of power related problems. High voltage, low voltage brownouts, and surges and spikes. If we take a look inside the unit, you will see the RSH50 surge protection device. This is the device that's gonna handle surges and spikes that can damage the, uh, the AC system. This unit tested by UL can handle 15 hits at 10,000 amps and survive and continue to work. It also has two stages of surge protection. So it's the only device on the market that has two stages. The first stage is thermally fused metal oxide varistors that take the short duration small surges. The second stage is the gas discharge tube, which handles the larger, longer duration surges. Those two components combined allow this surge protector to last significantly longer than the competition, and therefore it has a lifetime product replacement warranty. It also has a, a diagnostic light to indicating that the unit is functioning. That's the surge protection portion of the RSH50 VRM kit. This device is the VRM, the voltage range monitor. This device is designed to protect the AC system from high voltage and low voltage conditions. Low voltage conditions are also known as brownouts. The nice thing about this device is it allows you to program the unit. So if your manufacturer recommends that the proper operating voltage is between, let's say 253 volts and 187 volts, you can program this unit to shut off at those um, voltage levels. So the unit is always operating in a safe level. And we will go through the programming functionality of this unit uh, in a few minutes. The unit is inside a NEMA 3R weather tight enclosure. As you can see, it's got a seal inside the housing and it's got these clasps to keep the weather out. We've now applied power to the RSH50 VRM kit. As you can see, the green diagnostic light is lit on the RSH50. Over here is the voltage range monitor. When this is first powered on, it's gonna read out the nominal system voltage, which is normally gonna be in the uh, 240 range. This is 236, 237 volts, which is fine. So what we wanna do with this device is program it so it shuts off when the electrical system hits a high power threshold and a low power threshold, which is also uh, known as brownouts. When the power goes above 240 volts, it can reach a dangerous level that can damage electronic uh, circuit boards and uh, electronic components. When the power dips low, uh, it can burn out motors. So there's a safe window to operate within, and this unit will allow you to program uh, that window. So the first thing we want to do is set the cutoff at a high voltage or over, over voltage condition. And the way you do that is you just press this mode button and it'll take you to the option to set a over voltage cutoff point. And there's two schools of thought. One is use the manufacturer's suggested uh, voltage range or you can program it based on 10% above and below nominal voltage, which is what we're gonna do here. But you have the option to program this from 90 volts up to 300 volts. So you could set your own range. But in this case, like I said, we're gonna use the 10% above and below um, the uh, nominal voltage level. So we hold the mode button. 10% above would be 264 volts. So I'm just gonna program this to 264. So now, the cutoff point is 264 volts. If the power level ever gets up that high, we'll shut power off to the condenser and save the electronics. Next mode is gonna be the low voltage level or the brownout level where we cut off power. So we're at uh, 210 volts, 
10% would be 216, so we're gonna program up to 216 volts. So now we have our window set. Low voltage at 216 volts to prevent damage from brownouts, and at the higher level, 264 volts uh, to prevent against uh, over voltage events. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is set the delay for having the equipment shut off. So once we reach one of those thresholds, high or low, you can set the delay between five seconds and 60 seconds to shut power off. So we're gonna set that, right now it's at uh, 9.6 seconds. I'm just gonna move that up to 10 seconds. So that's set. And then the next one is when you turn power back on. You can set a delay uh, before power is restored to the condenser and that is uh, zero to 600 seconds. So I'm gonna set this up to 180 seconds, which is about three minutes. So we won't run into a short cycle situation. So now you're all set with the programming part of it. There's also an event log, which is the last mode. We don't have any events recorded at this point, but this is where you can store up to 300 events uh, and you can determine based on the readout and uh, the storage when you've had power related problems either at the low voltage lever level or the high voltage level. And then to save those settings, press the mode button for two seconds and you're good to go. So now we have the surge protector power on, powered on and the voltage range monitor set uh, to the specifications that we requested. Now we're going to close the panel. We are good to go.